Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. Will the Prime Minister update the House on how the government's plan for lower taxes will benefit families and businesses, including in my electorate of Dunkley? Is the Prime Minister aware of any alternative, alternative approach? The Prime Minister has the Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I thank the honourable member for his question. Uh, last year, 403,000 new jobs, more than 1,100 jobs a day, three quarters of them full time. A year ago, the Leader of the Opposition said this year, 2017 was going to be about jobs, jobs, jobs. Well, you know what? It was, and the jobs were created by the very policies that he opposes. The reality is that our economic leadership is delivering the dividends in terms of stronger growth and more jobs that Australians deserve. And we've seen this again today in the latest NAB business survey. Confidence is up another two points, now up 12, well above the long-run average. And, Mr Speaker, confidence, as all honourable members know, is absolutely critical. It drives investment, and investment leads to more jobs. Mr Speaker, the big difference between our side and the Labor side is that we have one policy after another which is focused on delivering stronger economic growth whether it is reducing tax for small and medium family-owned businesses, moving on to all businesses. Because we know, as the Labor Party used to say all the time, and they said at some length in the 2010 budget, if you reduce business tax, you get more investment, have more investment, you get more jobs. That seemed to be well understood. And we know that we operate in a competitive global environment. With the US going down to 21 per cent company tax, we now find ourselves, with other countries reducing their business tax, Australia is one of the very highest business taxing countries in the OECD. Why do we think we can, we can effectively compete when we ask people to pay much higher taxes here on business than they do in other comparable uh, locations for investment? Now, so we've got those policies. We've got our investment allowance, we've got our infrastructure commitments. Labor does not have one policy which will encourage one company to invest one dollar or hire one employee. What they do offer, however, is higher taxes on business, on investment, on individuals, on family businesses. They will have a 50 per cent renewable energy target, which they've never bothered to uh, cost, which we know will deliver higher electricity prices, putting more and more pressure on families and businesses. The reality is this. Labor does not have one policy which will create one dollar of investment or one new employee. will not create one job. And that is where the gulf between us lies right now. We are for investment. We're for jobs. We're for growth, we're for opportunities. The Labor Prime opposes Minister's time them all. Has concluded.